<sighs> All right, here we go. So this guy posted in my Discord, and he goes, I watched uh, Spite's new video he made. It wasn't a video, it was a stream. The last time, K-Lab did a good job about BBS and feel more comfortable play this game. First of all, learn English, especially when we got a few nice updates. If Spite don't like this game, he doesn't have to discourage us from playing. One, I have always called out K-Lab for things that I think could easily be changed or fixed, which I'll get into. And two, I feel like I've been one of the only people that really call K-Lab out for things that probably shouldn't be the way they are. I'd like to share my opinion about your last stream about BBS. So first of all, uh, if you don't care about, like my opinion is my opinion. No one tells you to come and stick around and watch my stream. You don't have to. I, I, I'm personally indifferent. If you come chill, I cool. If not, okay, cool. <laughs> like, like at the end of the day, it is what it is, bro. But like, I always get annoyed whenever I see these corporal sexual people like literally just dick ride K-Lab and guzzle their cum like it's no tomorrow. Like do that in your bedroom, in the like, in the closet with the lights off, like relax, bro. Um. So anyways, so there, there's a lot of things that I dislike about BBS and I think that they should be easy changes. Like these lo this login bonus, like skip, skip. Uh, how many more? We got another one? Nice, it's only two now. Okay, back when I, I quit, it was like three or four, which is really annoying. The achievement system is really cool. Um, I wish that it was a little more, um, like, I just wish their, lo their loading was definitely one of the reasons that really annoyed me. And like this is submenu thing, like, you have enough space to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For all can you, can you, can you, can you, thank you. Press spray water on you. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, uh, where were we? Oh yeah, the sub menu. So you have five things here. Honestly, the album and the my status and the friends, like you can put friends over here. You can put um, your inventory here. The edit being done here is kind of weird. I don't play on uh, phone. So I feel like this is like, like this, this is one of my complaints. I'm like, why do you have edit here instead of just keeping it here? Because the sub menu, in my opinion, like you literally have the settings. You had the profile and all that stuff here, which honestly having this my stat. Like, what is my status? Is that like where you go to your character page? OK, like it, it, the my character page. For, for those that don't know, is literally right here, but like you literally just click your name. So, so having two buttons there, I, I, I don't even think that this is a crazy complaint. I'm just like, why is that like that? I, I, I don't really think that's, um, what's the word? I, I don't think it's not a valid criticism. Another thing that I was complaining about was the way that they handled this upgrade slot. Like, it's awesome that you have multi power up, but it's kind of annoying that I can't do, um, <laughs> but, it, but it's kind of annoying that I can't just fill it up with, oh, use, uh, what is it called? Use rainbow potions. If I have the rainbow potions, I have to completely override the regular potions with the rainbows if I want to do this. I, I, I don't think that this is an unreasonable ask, in my opinion, all right? <laughs> all right, let's, let's continue. Where are we, uh, what else was I complaining about? Mmm... Lots of loading. I, I still hate that there's so much loading. Uh, the character summons. No, I thought this was fine. Uh, I, I wish that they had times a thousand tickets for premium summon tickets. Like, I'm not gonna lie, having to click this 35 times just feels kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just feels, it just feels like you shouldn't really do that. And then I think my the biggest thing that really annoys me, like the, the one thing that really, 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 really tickles my pickle in the worst way possible, kind of like they're putting a needle into the hole, is this. Uh, okay, I gotta go to a character that I can resurrect. All right. So, oh, as soon as I do this, you'll under you, you, you most people will catch on. All right. So you see how it says like, let me do two stars and lower. Let me try to get this done before my cats try to like. A self exit, bro. They they keep chewing on the damn cables that I have in the power outlet, and I'm just like, I keep kicking them. And that like, when, whenever they don't can't get my attention, that's what they do. All right, so I did a times 100 uh, times 100 uh, tickets, right? So I got a bunch of three stars. Now, if I want to use these three star fodders instead of the four star fodders, 
Uh, let me go resurrection possible. I still have a lot of resurrection characters. Uh, okay. How, 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 how many... Re let me see. Start quest. Do you have weakened defense? I don't know why. I remember her having a weakened defense. It's been a long time. Like, just because I'm ignorant on the game doesn't mean that I can't comment on the UI choices that they make. All right, cool. Here we go. I, I definitely complained about uh, the five-star accessories being time-gated. It's like, once you get your five-star accessories, knowing that you can upgrade them, but it's time-gated, uh, I find that kind of annoying because I feel like that's something that you can make use of in something like Brave Battles and competitive play. If it's not farmable and it's time-locked, the people who are playing longer are not are like going to get a, in my opinion, it's a massive advantage. I don't personally care about competitive play, but I can see why that would definitely dissuade people from wanting to be competitive. Uh, let's see here. Ah, okay, cool. Here we go. So when I click power up, this menu, awesome that they did this. But my gripe with it is if I want to use, if I want to use three star, uh, why is this ascension? Confirm. Oh, that's why. Okay. Let's do all this. There we go. Okay. If I want to use like three stars, it's still only select 50. This has been like this for oh, like nine, nine years. The entire time that K-Lab has been the thing. It, I don't think that this is an, uh, a hot take where I think that you should be able to use like 300 or 350 three stars at a time. I don't know. Y'all y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Either way, I do want to play this game. I, I like I played what four hours yesterday, but like if, if I see something that I don't like or I think can be e if I see something that I dislike that I believe can be easily changed, I'm gonna call it out. Like, bro, if, if, if you're my boy and you're sagging your pants down like under your asshole and I'm walking next to you, I don't want to see your ass. Just pick up your pants at the very least like pick it up until like I, I walk away and then you can sag it down and let other people see your asshole like I, I don't really see how that's a hot take and it's like oh he was complaining the whole time there's a lot to complain about They're like there's just like little things like uh, okay so let's go to co-op epic raid Nah, I don't really have anything like uh, epic raid hasn't been updated in a long time my only complaint is we just don't really get that many updates they just update the bonuses but at least they're adding bonuses and they have a lot of bonuses now so like i said nothing to, I, like, I didn't complain about that i don't even think i brought up chronicle quest but y'all know my criticism on chronicle quest and kaimon quest we still haven't gotten a new Senkaimon. i actually opened some um not i opened the the metal exchange because i'm like oh cool i can get uh, six star medals and I, I, I asked, I'm like, I'm like, we haven't gotten a new Senkaimon, have we? Aside from like the anniversary one, which, you know, you, you have that. Someone was saying that it's like we're getting to the point where we're almost done with Gates of Oblivion. I feel like they'll just add more to Gates of Oblivion if they really want. Like if they, I don't think Gates of Oblivion is really that hard because like you can actually... For those that don't know, I'm pretty sure you can get a general idea of characters that might come out as we get towards this area. Because, like, everything... For those that don't know, K-Lab usually has things planned out months in advance. Occasionally, they'll change out some characters. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Brave Battles... I, I, I think it's just dead. I didn't really think there's anything to complain about there. The only complaint I had was, oh, crap, I accidentally t 20 my Meninas, which I'm... Loki never gonna play with her. <laughs> I'm never gonna play with her. So um, I guess that's a complaint. Just want to live a quiet life. Oh, who's this? Oh, Squid Study Chat. Okay, he's five out of five. <laughs> uh, oh, we get free multis. I don't. Oh, returning players only. Oh, okay, cool. I get five free premium multis. Uh, okay. If, 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 if they're gonna give me 2015 characters uh, like uh, you want me to pretend to be excited I, I don't know you want me to fake like I I, don't, I, I try not to be fake like <laughs> a, apologies for being me damn I was, I was actually kind of hoping I get something there uh let's see here what what else did, did I complain about I'm trying to think of what else I complained about um I never liked this uh, let me click 
Click here. Request aid. I've never liked this. <laughs> like, I remember when um, a month or two after this came out, and I had a couple of guild members that would literally like yell at not yell but you know like they, they, they would share their grievances They're like there are people that don't request aid or aid others these are soul tickets that we can use like I, what, what, what bothered me was the person that said it i know makes about 150k a year and in my brain i'm just like just buy f just buy a fucking orb bro all right no, I, I wish I, I recorded that. My cat literally stands up and literally pats my, my arm to get my attention. He's so cute. Rivali will literally self-exit by eating the outlet, and then my other cat will literally just claw me half to death. Uh, let's see. I mean, that's really the only comments. I, I responded to him. Um, let me see here. Uh, I don't give a shit about your opinion. Like, you clearly don't care about mine. Yeah, like, if you're, if you're going to, like say that you're disgusted by my opinion bro it's a stream you i i'm not paying you to stay and you're not paying me to like be there like it, it, unless you paid me to be there then then feel free to curse me out and do whatever you want as long as you don't spray acid in my face like we're in the uk Caleb rolls out updates way too slow which i think that they do all right just because they they're like this achievement system the battle power that's a way to keep people into the game which is a good thing in my opinion, but I also believe that this achievement system could have come out a long time ago. Like they waited, what, two years after Seven Deadly Sins came out with Battle Power? Uh, I, I, I gave Caleb credit where credit is due when I said it's cool that you don't need dupes in this game because you can T20 a character, give them spiritual pressure or attack and focus. And someone even brought up in my chat, by the way, you don't even need dupes anymore. Because the focus that you get from the achievement system, not not the achievement system, the affiliation bonuses, usually can help override a character's like missing stats from being one out of five, which I think that that's fucking awesome. This game is super, super free to play friendly. My problem with it is there's just things that can be changed. And I'm like, uh, uh, so, uh, and then he's like, sounds Oh yeah, and someone said, sounds like you think K-Lab paid Spite to play, which is not the case. Bro, K-Lab has never acknowledged, like, BBS YouTubers. I, I think people are forgetting that the K-Lab Game Station, those were actual, like, streamers that were paid to stream Bleach Bracelets. Those are the only people that were acknowledged by K-Lab, the company, to stream the, like, Bleach Bracelet stuff. And we had really, really, really good people there that actually knew the bigger content creators when it came to the uh arabic side which i don't know any arabic bbs youtubers i'm sorry i don't speak arabic we have um the people on the jp side that i, I like i said I don't, I don't speak japanese so i don't really know them but they do and then all the english like um k -Lab game station staff that what do you call it whether they liked me or not because there was definitely some that didn't like me which i'm cool with it because i'm not gonna be everyone's cup of tea bro i've like uh, it is what it is that's why i have a 98 percent male audience because it, it is what it is bro anyways um yeah so i'm like the staff from k-lab station that actually cared about the game all got fired i still follow a few of the ex-staff like uh sarah she's currently in the states now she's uh, working in la for i believe like some type of books not really quite sure what dora does I don't really follow Alberto. Alberto didn't like me, so I, I didn't really follow him. But he was cool. I didn't think he was a bad guy for not liking me. Like, that's that's completely fine. It's the same thing for most other stuff. As long as you're not, like, you know, just shit-talking me for no reason. I'm not going to shit-talk people for no reason either. You're so cute. Sorry, my cat. Um, and for those that don't know, Matthew was K-Lab's Bleach senior marketer for four years and is on record saying he doesn't know why people like Bleach. Like, like, he just didn't understand the fandom, which is fine, but you probably shouldn't be Bleach Brave Souls, like, senior marketer if you don't understand why it is people, like, are willing to spend thousands, if not, like, tens of thousands of dollars on Bleach Brave Souls. <laughs> like, uh, just my opinion, not trying to shit on Matthew, just saying, just my opinion, you know? I've always, uh, like, in my opinion, I've always called k -Lab out for things. Like, look at the Uru scam. I still think that was a scam, by the way. The red Uru, green Uru scandal. I have that on my channel. I haven't taken it down. Um, k -Lab 
hasn't sent any cease and desist. So, like, what I really, another thing that I really like about Caleb, even though, like, like I said, I give Caleb credit where credit is due. Caleb has never taken, like, a cease and desist notice. The only time I've ever seen Caleb take, like, legal action was when people were posting leaks that shouldn't be out in the first place that's not bad in my opinion like, like that's not bad because it's just like you're protecting your ip which i think you should do now that's why you see oh, oh, i don't want to talk about that that's why you see some youtubers do prediction videos and just skew a little bit so that way you don't really know like like i'm, I'm i mainly came back because like we are supposed to be getting spirit society am i allowed to talk about that I don't want to do it on a video. I, I I I I definitely brought it up in um in the stream somewhere, but I don't want to say that out loud. Uh, like at least not on a recorded video because I don't want to get in trouble. Like I said, and I'm like, oh yeah, and the times fifty character sell there. It's just for nine years, bro. I don't think that that's a hot take. I really don't. I think criticizing for genuine problems is good. It's a million times better than just blindly consuming, bro. The only reason we get changes in things is literally when we like come together as a community and ask for change. Same thing with like like politicians bro if everyone is in disagreement with whoever got elected you make your voice like you make your voice heard and i'm not saying political violence i'm saying just literally just speak your mind you know it, it is what it is that's great that you speak out while most don't well i i think that a lot of people do i just have a bigger voice because i've grown my platform a bit bigger than most you know what i mean like like if, if aaron makes a video like calling Kayla about he's gonna get more eyeballs on it and there are definitely other content creators that in my opinion call Kayla out on their shit too like you have death smasher uh you have kp power though he he kind of quit uh like like tuki bankai like he complains when i think it's valid that yeah, dude still does uh speed runs for fucking senkaimon which which i don't get it but hey yo more power too you know what i'm saying i, I love tuki uh, agreed. That's why I liked your videos. You didn't always play devil's advocate and set over your chest. Well, I, I I hate the whole devil's advocate stance because it's like I can I, I do play. No, that's a lie. I, I I always play devil's advocate because I understand why Caleb's a business and stuff. But when there's things that can be easily changed, I'm not gonna dick ride and be like, "Well, Caleb will be updating it soon." No. No, the time the time is fifty selling stuff, bro. Like that that should have been changed a long time ago. There's no real. Defending that what, what is Caleb gonna say? Like server load like bro if you haven't like updated your servers in 10 years whose fault is that? Uh, I don't know. It is what it is, but I understand that Caleb's a uh, 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 How do I put it? Caleb's literally a publicly traded company and I understand that they do a lot of things specifically to make money or have people log in But it does it, it still doesn't mean that I'm not gonna call it out when I see it you know, like the hammer login stuff that you get from like orders and stuff, just from logging in every week, yada, yada, yada. I understand that this is mainly so that, um, this is mainly so that people can stay logging into the game and doing, um, doing what, the, what Caleb wants them to do at the end of the day, right? Because if Caleb wants to like, be like, oh, you know what? We don't really have a lot of people making lobbies in IT. They could literally be like, okay, by the way, orders, you get a five-star ticket if you do 400 runs. And since you can only do times five run or times 10 run, I don't know what it is right now. Then at the very least, you have lobbies being opened. I think that they should be doing that more often because in my opinion, a five-star ticket for like premium pool isn't even that big a deal, but it'll still get people at the very least motivated enough to play the game because they want to play the game while you're manipulating them in a way to kind of funnel them into doing it you know like for for example back in the day when and i'm i'm, I'm talking about like in the beginning of the game back in the day if you did co-op oh oops God, why is or oh thank god never mind i i forgot i have a bunch of three stars let me uh <laughs> let me let, let, let me sell stuff one two three four five okay All right, let's see here. Co-op, co-op, there we go. Like back in the day when we had like coin trials and uh, fusion trials runs so that you could get like the books and stuff for your accessories to level them up to four star and five star. Like you could play with any character you want, right? 
and then they released Inheritance Zone, which was a way to branch. So instead of having one good character, now you needed five good characters, or you would want five good characters so that you can actually run um, the Inheritance Zone. Then they started doing potion characters to get you to try to summon for the potion characters, super potion characters so you can get the super potion characters, guild quest characters so you can summon for the guild quest characters, brave battle characters so you summon for brave battle characters. That way you can excel in all parts of the game without having to rely on five broken characters because that's what it used to be literally if you pull don guy blah, 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 like there you nutted all over the fucking content in the game if you pull full bring ichigo you nutted all over the content in the game but we just came out with extreme co-op so you kind of want to use a tech character for extreme co-op and you only had like six hours to you only had like three or four hours to play extreme co-op with full bring ichigo when he came out but they also came out with like busted characters in accordance to their extreme co-op schedule speed extreme co-op I remember I was using Dongai and he was abysmal compared to the Halibel who literally had Disabler, which damn, she, she was busted, bro. Oh yeah, and another thing I complained about, Pax. Pax, here, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> bro, my boy Tiger Uppercut Media, you might, uh, you might know him from the, you might know, know him from the Dokkan community. K-Lab literally came out with something called the Golden Pack. It, I, I, don't, I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Yeah, Golden contains the following items. Except they would have a five-star accessory item ticket that was also Golden. And my boy pulled a regular Gold Chappie. So he paid $80 because this was 580. It was a 585 pack for $80 back then. Oh, that's a... What is this? 500 or... Uh, damn, I, I thought this was going to be a 585 pack. And I'm like, oh, they, they just lowered the price. That, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, either way, he, he pulled like a five-star chappy and he messaged me. He's like, yo, Spite, how do I send in a ticket? I didn't get a golden accessory. And I'm like, fuck, bro. Because if he messaged me, I would have told him, I'm like, don't buy it. It's not a guaranteed actual golden accessory. And the golden accessory rate was like 3%. It was like 3 to 10%. I, let, let me not lie. I, I don't remember what the percent was. All I know is that it was not worth gambling $80 for a five-star accessory when it could not, when it, like it was a higher likelihood of it not being a golden accessory and it's the same thing with some of these other other packs like when they have like the christmas pack uh do we have like a christmas pack or something when we have like a swimsuit pack or whatever and it shows like the banner orihime uh nemu and who else is on that banner orihime nemu and kukuku it was like a 12 to 20% chance of actually pulling a banner swimsuit character and an 80% chance for $25, bro. And I, I've purchased that pack multiple times. Eventually when I started making BBS videos and like actually making a bit of money, I would buy this and cope like, oh yeah, I'll make the money back in a couple videos. But I really wish that I just didn't support it because to be honest, I feel like if no one bought this stuff, we'd actually get a better rate for like, these types of things but i mean it, it is like i get that caleb needs to make money i the, my only real like criticism that i don't understand from them is i don't know why they don't have sales someone brought it up they're like yeah they, they're still like the only gotcha game company that doesn't have sales for their stuff but they do have like packs and stuff and i still think that the bonanza pass if you play this game a lot i still think that this is worth it i'm not gonna purchase personally uh purchase this until i know that i'm gonna be playing this game a lot but yeah, that's pretty much, um, is that everything? I, I want to be like thorough. Solo, Chronicle Quest. We need more bonus characters for Chronicle Quest and Kaimon. Honestly, instead of doing an anniversary Senkaimon, they should just come out with a new Senkaimon. Come out with a new character, give us more hype for anniversary. Imagine we got a thousand year Blood Wars Senkaimon character for, for anniversary. I, I think that'd be cool. I don't, I don't think it'd be like, out of the realm of like craziness but uh, then, then again Caleb would have to pay licensing rights and I feel like selling a thousand year blood war character paying licensing rights while not being able to make money on it specifically from a banner because it's free to play would kind of hurt I don't know uh, you, you see th th this is exactly what I'm saying like I I'm playing devil's advocate because I get why they wouldn't do that but it would be cool <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool. Uh, Limit Breaker quests, just a way to sell more characters. Same thing with Guild quests, uh, Power Up quests. I actually don't even know what's in here anymore. Oh, this is just like, okay. Oh, Inheritance Trials are here. Five times a week. I, I still like that they did this. Where's the special move source stuff? 
Uh, I don't. I don't even know where the special move store stuff is. Is oh, is it under daily quest? My bad. My my phone's going off. Uh, here it is. Special move training grounds. So I originally was about to come back because I thought that um, the achievement system was cool, but this multi-ticket unavailable, bro. When I found out that this was unavailable, I'm like, bro, you tell me that I need to manually click start quest, retry, begin quest, retry, begin quest with like these the resurrectable units just so that I can get like a move source on them. I'm like, bro, <sighs> let me do a times eight run, times 10 run and then call it good, you know? It is what it is. But anyways, that's pretty much my um, my take on the game. But like I said, I don't think that this is a bad game. But I played this game for 10 years, you know? Like, I played this game for, like, what, eight years? Because uh, I started a little bit after first anniversary, and then I quit, like, six months ago. So, so yeah, now, now that I'm back, I'm, I'm, I'm being a bit more critical on things because I'm not... I'm I'm not gonna be happy happy joy joy like I'm not like finster bro you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna do this just like to make y'all happy like I I literally said I'm like bro I, it's like getting kicked by your master and then being like oh no more kicks today sir oh don't be happy like it, it is it is what it is I like I like BBS I I don't think it's a bad game I just got bored of the game so I stopped playing and um. It's been like six months. Uh, they came out with more characters, and uh, I think it's cool. I got lucky. On the fourth step, I pulled the... Uh, I am number one Zabakto creator! So, yeah. While, while I'm having fun with the game, I'll, I'll fuck around with the game. I'll probably stream more. Just because usually the most fun I have when I'm playing this game, uh, even when I quit, was really just streaming. I just didn't have anything to stream at the time. I had plenty of resources i wasn't trying to t20 my box i don't, I don't know how y'all do that i get that it's not like crazy to do it anymore because like you have the achievement system you have like um more rates you have more characters that have like link slot potion plus 10 15 i, I don't know if there's 15 but yeah either way i'm back for now we'll see how we'll, we'll see how long it lasts if it lasts cool and if it doesn't um like I said, I'll be playing this game while I'm having fun with it. <laughs> well, I'll leave it at that. You guys grind on catch up with him and say blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Uh, like, let me know if, if what I said was like out of pocket. I don't think it's out of pocket. Everything I said was pretty much opinion based. So it's like, like, eh, it is what it is. Anyway, stay blessed, y'all. See y'all in the next one. Peace.